Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Castillo Midiet and welcome to the first episode. How to be a great actor. Rule number one, your talent lies in your choice, but that begs the question, what makes a good choice, right? Right, before we begin, please do your part to smash the like button. To understand what makes a good choice, it's necessary to go back in time to the Greek theater to a guy named Aristotle. Aristotle was this cool guy and he came up with these rules called the poetics, which outlines what makes good theater and rank them from one to six. Let's start with the weakest, Six, spectacle. This is basically circus. Nothing really happens, it's just a bunch of cool events, lots of color, lots of sound, that basically overloads your senses. Not saying it's not powerful, just ranking them here. So for actors, you can't really mess this up, so we're just gonna keep moving on. Five, hit the like button. Just kidding, but I think you kind of get where I'm getting at, right? Number five, song. Super simple story, but nothing super deep happens. It just really influences your mood. Don't get it twisted, it's very important. But for actors, you can't really mess this up, so we're just gonna keep on going down the line. Number four, diction. This is word choice and structure. This is why Shakespeare is argued to be probably the greatest writer that ever lived, but just because I'm tired about hearing the pop of white guys, I would also say August Wilson are strong contenders, if not better. For actors, this starts to be a problem because our craft is based around words, so fix that mush mouth. Now this is where things start to get really interesting. Number three, thought. The themes and ideas of the work. This has more to do with the literary piece itself. This is the writer's realm. Where actors mess things up is they try to act out the theme of the play or the script or whatever. And what ends up happening on stage and on screen are a lot of actors acting out ideas of something. And ideas, they're just basically not your job. That's the writer's job. How do you break that rule? A great example of this is Anthony Sher, Richard III, in which he uses his elbow crutches to bring to life a theme in the script about Richard being a bottled spider. Character. Character is the second most important. This is where actors always mess things up as they like to mix up this one for the next one because character is really juicy and fun for us. Character has to do with the strength and weaknesses of the character. I can't really talk about this poetic without really mentioning the first one, so let's just kind of cut to the chase, right? Plot. This is how you make strong choices. Your choices must be based around the plot or the story of the play or the screenplay. Listen, I'm not saying you can't make cool choices or about your character or cool ideas, and most times they don't have to be one or the other. Let's take the Joker movie, for example. This is what's known as a character movie or a character-driven movie. Not really much happens, or it's not hard to guess what's going to happen. You know he's gonna lose his mind and go nuts. But what's so interesting is watching him do it. So all of Joaquin's choices are centered around the plot of watching this guy lose. An example where character cannot go above the plot is something like The Glass Menagerie. This play is more than just Tom. It's a delicate balance between all of the characters. But Joe, that's a play. What about a movie? Okay, the story structure of Memento is so powerful, so strong, and so central to that piece of work that everything else just falls naturally into place. Yeah, cool, we can make some cool character choices about the main guy, but it all serves the plot, and anything else just takes away from that. In addition, following these rules will make you so much more easier to work with because you're not at odds with other actors or the director or the writer or the producer. Hey, listen, if you like what you heard, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That'll help me bring more content to you for free, which I hope will make you a better actress or actor and make better stories and better theater and better screenplays and better TV and better movies. With that, remember, don't be good, be great. Don't be great, be one of the greats. Till next time, I'm out.